Well, it's hello from Edinburgh. It's a lovely sunny Edinburgh today, a great game for football. And I'm making my way to Christy Gillis Park. Yeah, civil service strollers. Star players in. I can even get some star players arriving as well. What more can you ask for just at the right time, eh? <laughs> Brilliant. Um, yeah, so Civil Service Solos are playing Camelon today. It's a, it's not a league game because Camelon are in the, the East of Scotland League First Division. It's a qualifying cup game. Uh, I'll say more about it later. So it'll be interesting because I always find that teams like uh, Camelon are a couple of tiers below will be up to prove something today. So I'm looking forward to a good game. I also think uh, Terry Streels is here today. Craig. My name's David Smith and I'm the chairman of Cameron Juniors. Right, very much for speaking to me. The one question I've been asking is why has Camelin got a boat and why are they called Mariners? Because you're not near the sea, are you? No, I think a lot of people mistake, but the Mariners song, it mentions the three bridges and the fourth to the Fort and Clyde Canal, but there was originally a Roman fort on the site at Camley, and it was about 200 yards away from the River Carn. Right. And the River Carn was navigable quite far up, and Roman galleys would have been shallow draft. They, they could have got right And that's up to just a Roman galley? A Roman galley. Ah, right. And that, that's where it comes from, I think, but a lot of people think it's the Fourth and Clyde Canal, but obviously right. it's not. Well, I'm glad to ask the question because badges are important to club's identity. Uh -huh. And I just, so I'm, I'm going to go close up there because it is, a, you're right, it is a Roman galley. When you look at it now, you're right. No, oh, that's very interesting. Yeah. First division just now. I mean, I know this isn't a league game, but you're in the yeah. first division just now in East of Scotland League, so your ambition would obviously be to get into to the... Get so how's your, how's your season been going then? 50-50. Uh, we're about halfway up the table. Uh, when our new manager took, our manager took over this season, we were at the bottom of the table, and he's got us up halfway. Right. Now, we've, we haven't merged with St. Gentlemen, but there's... But some the Syngenta came to us. Yes. And, we, and although we're not, we have a lot of the Syngenta people now with us uh, because we only had seven of our committee. Yeah, it'd be worth uh, visiting Camelin. I'll have to come myself sometime and leave at a ground topper. One, you know. of our, one of our neighbours has a little stand built in his garden looking over the ground. Right, that's and, brilliant. And I believe it was it was on Saints and Greaves it all those years. Oh right, ago. right. And it's been in other other. So so that's something well. to look out for then, yeah. Yeah, that's something right. to look out for. Well, thanks for your time. Right, there we go. Well, we'll have to do the sound effects for the turnstiles, won't we? <laughs> yeah? Thank you. Ching 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 ching. ching. Good lads. I'm not doing a match, uh, a ground tour sort of thing, because I've done it before. Um, so I'm not going to walk around the ground and take photographs uh, around the ground, but uh, because, as I say, I can always check a, a, one of my vlogs before. Um, but yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lovely day for a for a game of football. It's, uh, the sun's going away a wee bit, but there's hardly a wind, so there's brilliant, brilliant conditions. Well, there's a Kimlin team coming out. Obviously their colours are red. There's the strollers guys coming on. I know, I can see Ross coming in my picture. Hello, how are we? How are we doing? You good? Good nice man. Nice to see you. Good, always good to see Hi you. Hi to your fans. <laughs> yes, boys, yeah. There we are, Stan. There we go, kick off. Yeah. Oh. I thought I was near the corner there, but no. Oh, nearly. Good defence here. Oh, corner, first corner to, of the game to Kimlin. Oh, nearly. 
Well, that was a good chance, but it was well defended. A good corner, uh, but well defended. Oh, no, chance by Kimmel, yeah. Second corner for Kimlin. Oh, that was a poor one, but. Well, that was the strollers getting their passing game together. At least if they, if they get to get their passing game, then they can play some good football, but... So far, there's not a lot in the game. Oh, that's the first corner for Sewers. Oh, a bit of a waste, that one. Come back, 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 Oh, good shot. That's the first real shot on target. Yeah, it was a good team as well. Corner to Stores. That's our second corner if I'm right. Oh, short corner. Get the ball in properly. Oh, we've got a back throw. Nah, no. no, it's too easy for the goal there. Yeah. Still a couple of wee chances here for the throws. Oh, here we go. Oh! Oh! oh. 
Well, I think I should have been 1 0. Just chased it in. What a difference a good corner makes, eh? <laughs> well, well, it's half time and 1 0 to the strollers. Yeah. Just shows you what a difference a good corner makes, crazy. What, what, what do you make of that then? Uh, first tough, half. Very tough first half. I was. But, uh, came on, were excellent. They were certainly putting strollers under a lot of pressure. I thought we were. Finding it a bit hard at times to yeah. try and break them down, but Aye. we, you know, late in the the first half we rattled the bar. Mark Laird, uh, we thought you know it could easily went in, I and see. then uh, I didn't see it coming. But you know, as you say, from the corner, yeah. a great finish by uh, Balatoni from short range. Yeah. Uh, I think it was a header. Yeah. I could never, I couldn't make out with the number of bodies in the no, box. No, I but, see, uh, I see. But now, nah, good, good, happy I, one now. I'm kind of relieved to be honest. Yeah, I, I mean, I thought they were coming into good. the game a bit, but it took them a long time to get into the game. But as you yeah. say, probably because, probably because they came on, they were really tough to break down. Yeah. I think they've been their their number seven, who I believe is on loan from Cumbernauld Colts. Ah, is like the yeah, he was looking good. Yeah. Aye, aye, you're yeah. right. Well, they've got some good players. Yeah. Okay, Craig. Thanks very much. Cheers, Norway. Well, I hope I never missed anything. I went for an extended cup of tea while well, a bove roll. So, I um, hope I've no. <laughs> but I missed a cook off anyway. Well, I've no missed anything. I think I missed a kick off there, gentlemen. No, I saw that. I got that, yeah. <laughs> but I never missed anything else, so that's what I'm saying. No. Good, good. This is a good ball, and look here. I'm still in. I thought it was going out. Oh. Yes, well done. 
Oh, a wee defensive mistake there. They came on, nearly got in sores. There we go, no. Oh. Ah, come on. Oh, some slow strollers, 14 and 17 coming on. Well, there you go. <laughs> it was fun saying it was miles on side, miles on side. But I don't know, I can't tell from here. Well, I'll just ask Craig, because he's further up uh, towards the line. He said it was definitely onside. Well, there's a foul. This could be a chance for... Come on. Well, looks like a shot on target here. Oh, good, good effort, but I think it's pretty wide at the end of the day. Oh, there's a chance here, but not. Oh, there's a chance here. Oh, unlucky. Oh, so good to go away. Oh, that was good to the corner. Oh, <laughs> Oh, it's a chance, a corner. There's a corner to go. Oh. This time it was well defended by Kimlin. There's a number seven, he's a good, good, good player. Offside again. Oh, no. You got on bill for that, eh? Oh, 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 that was close. Yeah, Phil. Oh. Oh, that's right. Well, a couple of subs, uh, number 16 and 18 coming on. Oh, he got no. Ah, unlucky. Corner though. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, unlucky. Good save, in fact. That was a chance, oh. That was coming with a wee chance here. Oh, no. It's a goal kick. Oh, good game going on there. There we go. Oh, good save, in fact, eh? Oh, oh, it's a good save as well. Good shot. Oh, good, good shot. Oh, well done. Oh, well.
Side of it, that is on. Oh, well, there's real time, you know. Okay, so what do you think about that game then? Uh, delighted with the second half. Yeah. Uh, created a lot more chances, looked more like the strollers we know. Yeah. Good attack in football. Uh, could have maybe been more goals, but yeah. happy with 2 0. I think the second goal took a lot of the pressure off and it could relax a bit and play the ball around. So now happy with that. But, you know, credit to uh, Game one. I thought they were excellent yeah. in the first half. Kept going second half, but I think we just showed our levels in the second half. Yeah, that's right. I think I think getting that goal when we did mm -hmm. uh, just made a difference, you know. Big time, yeah. Yeah. Happy, with it. happy to get through, but a very tough cup tie. So yeah. We'll see where we get in the next round. I think uh, next week is it home to still in university? Yeah, that's is it? Right. University still, and I've been impressed with them. You've turned them yeah. as well. That'll be a tough game, eh? Excellent side. Yeah. Uh, got a very strong uh, dev side as well. So got a good, a lot, good bunch of young players coming through. Yeah. So they've got a lot of options, but I think we'll uh, give them a hard game next week. It should be interesting. Great. Thanks Thank again. Um, Mark Laird, um, central midfielder, civil service strollers. Yeah. What did you think about the game the day, um, Mark? It was. I thought Camelin uh, came out, made it difficult for yourselves. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Um, it was a tough, tough first half anyway. Um, they obviously came out with a game plan. It made it hard for us to, to break them down. Um, there wasn't much in the first half, if I'm being honest. The goal probably came at the right time for us. Um, and then obviously the, the, the second goal, the set, start of the second half, obviously probably took a wee bit of pressure off us and just let us relax and play our game. Yeah, I thought it was the importance of getting a good corner in because when you scored, it was a good, it was a good cross in mm -hmm. where I think you tried the short corner. I mean, it's, it's getting the tactics right in these games, isn't it? No, definitely. Obviously, we try and work on things in training uh, with Gary and the coaching team. Um, but as I said, it was good ball by Matty. Obviously, Conrad was in the right position to, to tuck it away, thankfully. That's oh, right. And as you say, that second goal came at the right time because I thought if you had, if the game had dragged on a bit, Kemlin would have felt they had a chance. So you got that goal and it sort of killed off the game a wee bit. Yeah, definitely. I think, as you say, the second goal was key um, to to kind of letting us relax a little bit. And it's not so much take your foot off the pedal, but obviously the second goal is always key in a game, um, especially when it's 1-0, it's finally balanced and, and obviously until that goal went in. I was impressed with, with the substitutions as well. Mm. It looks like you've got a good squad and it's important that you have a, a togetherness, but there must be battling for places, eh? So mm. that can only be good for the, the team. Yeah, it's obviously, as you say, um, we've got a few boys that have come back from injury. Barris, um, we've got Robbie Cole that's just come back as well, who are both good players. Um, so obviously, them boys coming in, push the boys that are starting, um, and makes it more competitive. University of Stirling next week, mm -hmm. that'll be a tough game, but you'll be you'll be hoping that people can come along and watch, because it'll be a good game, eh? Yeah, um, I think, as you say, um, they've had a good season. Um, we beat them at fourth bank earlier on in the season, so I'm sure they'll be coming full of confidence. They've had a, yeah. a really good season, obviously they went really well in the cup as well. Um, say, but we've got to show them respect, but also remember as well that we're a good team, um, nothing to fear. That's good. Well, well done for the victory today. Thanks very much. Not a problem. Well, thanks for watching, and I'm really pleased to ask that question about the badge. It was bugging me. There you go, a Roman galley. And it was uh, great speaking to the chair of uh, Kimlin. Uh, and very interesting to hear about the, the, the Syngenta uh, players, the Syngenta, that's what they're called, uh, players who managed to get the under 20s. Uh, I think, you know, what I saw from Kimlin, I think uh, they can be the team to watch next season, probably as the players come through uh, to get, gain promotion to the East of Scotland. Premier Division. Also, thanks to the Strollers uh, for allowing me access to the players. Matt Laird, he was a guy who uh, rattled the bar 
Um, but it was a it was a good game eventually, and uh, thanks again to Craig for his his input. Uh, and please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. As I've heard some good feedback. Thanks very much for all that, and uh, see you behind the goals.